Hi everybody, Murphy's here with another episode of I Love Murphy. We are going to be unboxing some items from Wish. I'm actually going to be unbagging everything that I got from Wish, plus um, something that I opened on accident last week that I've been meaning to show you guys, which um, is kind of a miss for me, actually. So let's actually get started with this. Oh, and by the way, I realize that I'm wearing the ugliest shirt possible, but I wanted to take a minute to point this out because I was bored and which is very really very uncommon for me honestly because I always find myself uh, with something to do but I put my makeup on I found this very interesting lip color and then I decided to do my eyeshadow with I probably didn't keep put it in here with the two dollar palette that I got from Wish uh, a little while back and I don't know if you guys can see it but I was pretty impressed. I don't know if I liked it as much. I can't remember if I liked it as much when I swatched the colors. But um, I even used the, the little applicator because I've, these were new and I have not washed them yet. And I wanted to leave them in the display to kind of show you guys what they look like. I have gotten a bunch of Morphe brushes. A little, not a bunch, but a nice little um, sprinkling of different ones. And those are drying, so I didn't want to use those either. Um, yeah. So I'm actually really liking the colors. I showed my husband who also doesn't know anything about makeup and he said he liked it. So we'll see how, uh, how what you guys think. Let me know. Uh, but yeah, for two bucks, it was the, I cannot believe I didn't bring it. I will have to let you guys know in the next video uh, what it was called, like sugar box or something like that. Sugar box, that's what it was. And it was a single row um, of like metallics. They're really pretty, like pinks and chocolate colors and stuff like that. So I kind of like it. Um, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, this is an acrylic box that I ordered. Thinking that acrylic um, items are usually pretty pricey, and they usually are. It's just that you kind of don't know what you're getting with Wish. And I thought that items like this kind of cost around like the $40 mark, which I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's actually two pieces. The reviews came back saying that, um, you know, one of the reviews kind of got me confused because they said only one piece came, only the bottom. So it is um, set up with uh, slots for like lip, lippies. These are actually my Wish things. Oh, these are my Morphe brushes. Then what did I wash if I didn't wash my Morphe brushes? I can't remember now. I'm getting confused. I think I washed some um, cheaper ones, some like less expensive shiny ones or something. These are my Morphe's that I just got. I like them. They are pretty. But anyway, um, and then I got my little cleaner that I got from my prior Wish haul, and I, which I really like um, for in between shades and stuff because I don't have that many brushes. So washing them normal under normal normal circumstances for the first use, but in between and for the first use, but in between I use this. My goodness, that was a mouthful, sorry. So anyway, this has a bunch of slots for um, lip products. It's got another one. This is my setting powder that I rarely use because it gives, makes me look like I have more wrinkles than I have, which is not a good thing. But it's my Laura Mercier setting powder. And then here is the other side. It is a four drawer. I don't know why this is, oh, because there's something in it, duh. My false eyelashes that I've never worn. worn. Do you guys know um, that little fun fact? I guess you guys don't know this, but I own like probably 10 pairs of false eyelashes. I've never put a pair on in my life besides on my wedding day. Yeah, I don't know why. I keep buying them with the full intention of putting them on, but I'm not that smart. And the ones I get are not super cheap. I think these are like $8, so I should probably try them one day. Anyway, I keep rambling today. I'm so sorry. So these are four drawers, oh, two longer ones and then two shorter ones. They have this black mesh inside. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's more fabric than it is plastic. So I'm assuming it's supposed to stay there. Probably not to, to prevent the bottoms from scratching. Um, this was $18 as two, a two piece set and $6 for shipping. So that is $24 which I um, actually even asked a friend of mine that is a hairstylist and asked her, and you could kind of tell the size because there are a lot of uh, reviews with pictures and you know, you know what a brush 
lips looks like and how big lipsticks are and, and things like that. And she told me it was a good deal. I thought it was a good deal. And then uh, a week before it came, I went to Ulta and saw the exact same top and the bottom uh, being only different with it having three full size length drawers instead of this being split. Had three full um, drawers and this exact same top on sale for 18 and it was I think regularly priced at 25 so I could have gotten it you know save one x one you know s divided drawer uh, probably a month before it came fairly quickly so and that's the reason why I opened it is because I didn't realize what it was when I opened it I saw this really weird box and I actually thought it was um, some like like home like uh, medicine cabinet stuff that we order um, and then I had ordered like cough drops and stuff like that it was in a like a weird box and I open it up and it's in like styro like big styrofoam so I'm tearing it apart I'm like oh okay so I've been using it sorry um, not too much but it's found a place in my bathroom and I'm really liking it but again Save yourself the hassle of worrying about it being broken or whatever this case may be. Maybe buy it from Ulta instead if that's what you're looking for. If not, um, yeah, give it give it a shot. Uh, it's not any cheaper, but you get the extra drawer. I guess that's that's the benefit of it. So, uh, okay. Now we've been talking about that for way too long. Um, I did get a few things from which I am going to open these up. Um, this says it's a scarf, and I don't remember ordering a scarf, so let's take a look and see. I hope I don't cut it or rip it open or anything, but I'm hoping there are some more Halloween items in here, so I did order some things. Uh, well, this is kind of kind of a Halloween thing, I guess. So this is, I've been eyeing this actually for a while, so for months and months. When I first went on Wish, I wanted to buy this. But the shipping was like $8, which I thought was crazy, since the, the item was like 6 But I didn't want to pay $15 for this. Um, I still oh, didn't get it. Oh, this is much smaller than I thought. What is This is not at all what, what it was described as. Okay. So this is actually a scarf, which is kind of silly. It's, I don't even know. How, why would you, why would it? I mean, it's cute and everything, but it was supposed to be like, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm sure you guys have seen it. If you go on the app at all, um, you see women kind of trailing this along behind them and it's very large. Um, this is quite large, but it, it is depicted as being like from, you know, shoulder to like the ground or, or near to the ground. This is not shoulder to near to the ground. It's like just past my waist um, sitting down. So interesting that there's no, nothing to hold on to. I'll put the price on the comments here or the captioning down below, but I am a little disappointed. Side note, have you guys noticed that everything on Wish, the uh, shipping is going up and up and up? So are the prices. There's a new web website not AliExpress, I don't remember what it's called. I'm gonna be ordering from them, I think, because everything is free shipping. So, we'll have to give that a shot. Uh, the next item that is in here is a little bracelet, and I had seen someone ages, ages, ages ago on YouTube order something similar. Or maybe the same one, I thought I had an arrow on the other end, but it's a little bangle, and I don't know if I'll be able to wear this, but. It's got a little heart on one side, if you guys can see that. That is rhinestone. And then this one is just a flat heart. And it's got a gold tone to it. This is, oh, this is gonna be tricky. Let's see if I can do it on this side. I always end up wearing jewelry that doesn't match. So yeah, I can actually wear that. Let's see if I can show you guys what it looks like. To me and I can't understand why but uh, okay I'm crazy so just ignore me um, that is what it looks like I know you guys don't think I'm funny it's just it's late I can blame it on you know the booze but I don't drink the booze oh darn it I forgot to tell my husband to get me tea 
universe if you're out there remind him to get me celestial seasoning see sleepy time i tried it it's delicious he just went to the supermarket so i should probably run down and ask him hold on hold that thought i'll be right back sorry guys thanks so much for waiting i am back now <laughs> gotta have my sleepy time tea see what happens to me i'm a little squirrely what can i say okay so the next thing it just says one tea dip. Now oh, somebody mentioned to me in one uh, in the comments of a, to one of my more recent videos that the descriptions will tell you what it is. But can you can you see what it is? I can't see what that is. Can you see? Sometimes it is. You know, it does tell you something, but a lot of times it doesn't. This is a very big ring, which is awesome. And it kind of matches my shirt. This one's not planned. This is really one of the louder shirts that I own. It is kind of glorious in its, its shirt shirtness. It's in, in vibrancy of colors. But I did order this kooky ring. Wow. This is a gem. Look at that. Look at that. Looky, looky, loo. Look at that. It is a size 10. It is called a Turkish ring of some kind. I didn't know that it had the gold finish on the back, which is fine by me. And it fits perfectly. It's got a little bit of give. One tip, you guys, with most rings, uh, when you are getting a wider band, um, you do have to get a little bit bigger size. It is kind of hard to close my fingers all the way now that I think about it, so I probably could have gone down. But they do not do half sizes. They only do whole sizes, and I was worried that it was going to be too small. So I will survive for fashion. I'm really gonna end up wearing it on this hand anyway, so let me flip it over. Just so you guys know, I always take my rings off at, uh, right when I get home because I don't want them in food and stuff like that. So that's why I really I rarely wear my wedding band. Not that I'm trying to advertise that I'm not married because I am. But I am going to wear this on this hand and I like it. And that was the longest explanation ever as to why nothing. I didn't, nobody even asked. There was no question raised or anything. So bracelets check ring 10 out of 10 would recommend super pretty if you guys are going for halloween looks too you can definitely do this as like a gypsy thing or you could just be awesome and bold and wear it every day i love it i think this is really cute i'm literally trying to think of what i can wear this with tomorrow it is casual friday so maybe i'll figure something out so i'm gonna move it over to here and we're gonna move on to the next item because how many minutes can I spend talking about nothing? So, you know, I may have <laughs> the Guinness World Record of talking about absolutely nothing. What the heck is this? Ooh, I know what this is. See, I should have banked this HP stuff, I'm telling you. So this is an eyeing this. This is so not the right color. Okay, but I've been eyeing this since I heart him so much. I asked him, texted him a picture of the Sleepy Time Tea. And I said it could be any brand, which that's not really true, but I said there, it could be. And his reply was, got it. He was probably already in the checkout line knowing him. I heart him. He's very sweet. Again, I digress. A scroll moment. Um, ever since I saw the Harry Potter mover, movie, which I believe it was The Prisoner of Azkaban. Yep. And Hermione had the Time Turner. I wanted one. Just because it was pretty. Now I know in the movie, her chain is very long. And I knew in real life that would not be. But I did not anticipate this to be orange on the inside because I did not ask for an orange one. I believe I selected a white one. So they will be hearing from me, my friends at Wish, because this is not what I ordered. It is super cute though, and it does spin, and so does this. So I do like that. Um, in the movie though, you push it, you hold on to it here and the whole thing spins, um, which, actually no, I guess it can't because this is holding onto this. So I guess it just spins like that. So, I mean, it's not super authentic, but it's got the, it's got 
text on it. It says, I mark the hours, everyone, nor have yet out run the sun. What? What? Oh, there's more. Look at that. You have to do my use and value. Undo you are gauged by what you have to. What? I. I'll have to look this up and see what the actual one, the authentic one says. But, and again, I don't know if I'd ever actually wear this. It's got a really pretty toggle, um, clasp too, but it's orange and I am a fan of orange. Murphy loves orange, but there was no such thing as an orange time turner. Why would I wear this? I wouldn't. Not like the Lord of the Rings one that I was wearing the other day and sporting it because I thought I was pretty cool. This is a little too gigantic for me. Um... Yeah, this is not happening. No, nope. Taking it off. Cannot even sport it for the length of the remaining length of this video, which probably at the rate I'm going is gonna be like six hours. But hey, you know, I could finish early or on time. It's a first for everything. This uh, gypsy ring, by the way, fortune teller ring. Really, it's caught in your hair. Just, just make a note of that, folks. Okay. So that is sad. Like if you put this on against a white background. Oh mercy, is it orange? That's that's super orange. I uh, yeah, I, I I can't fathom why anyone would want that in orange. Okay, so moving on, moving right along. Oh, I feel like it's like another bangle. I did buy a couple because I kind of wanted some arm candy. You know, the quest for jewelry it never ends with me. What are you gonna do? But oh, these are these are cute. Uh, um, I was looking forward to these actually. I did not know of the Alex and Annie brand. Um, well, I've known about them for a few years, but I didn't realize that how popular they were. Um, I'm more of a Pandora girl myself, but you know, I figured I would just check these out just because honestly, the um, Alex and Annie ones that uh, some girls I know have are really heavy. And I couldn't really wrap my head around why I would want them around my wrist. First of all, these are stuck, so I don't even know how they would even get off. I don't know how, how to open this. It, just, it's, it slides. Wow, that's really unfortunate. So this slides around, but they're all grouped up in a way that I can't get them off of this part. Okay. So you get a little uh, tree of life, and you get like the northern star, I think. A regular star. I'm going to start with a smiley face on it because that matches. Um, a big flower and little flowers. That's weird. Okay. So I'm really bummed that you can't really move these around because I kind of thought you could. But maybe that's how it works. I don't know. So let me take this guy off. I'm, a little, I'm not really well versed in the whole Alex and Annie thing, but... I'm going to try it on and I'm going to see how it looks and it doesn't look terrible. I just kind of wish, like I said, that they all kind of swung around together because it looks like they're separated. Not sure if that's on Poipus, but you know, everybody that I know wears like five of these at once, which I think is kind of crazy, but yeah, I don't know. They look, they're a little ma. They look clingy. You, I guess you probably do have to wear like a ton of them at a time. So. Okay. Well, you guys tell me. So I'll take it off again. You guys can take a look at it. Let's see. So it was kind of mushed in like this. I will put it up against... Nope. This white background. White background. And you tell me what you think of it. How it looks to you. Look at this. You are going to be kidding me right now. I sound like Drew, Drew from Despicable Me. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cute, but I don't know. I don't know if it's really supposed to be like this. I will have to investigate further for you guys. Um, this is a box. I don't know what it is. Should I look? It says, oh, this is more, I not really Halloween stuff, but kind of Halloween stuff. It's Disney. What is this? Oh, it's both of my things. Okay, so this comes in this weird like little tackle box, which is weird. Don't ask me why I know what a tackle box is. I do. 
and it's like taped shut. One of these days, I'm gonna end up poking my eye out. Now, I bought this because I'm crazy. And I really wanted it, I don't know why. Don't ask me. So this is, um, oh, this metal's got this, that weird, like, you know, the feeling when like silver's been hanging out for too long and it's like really tarnished. Ah, oh, this looks terrible. Okay, so it's, I don't know, I think it's sweet. It is the, can you see it? Am I a dork? Tell me the truth. I thought it was gonna be like tiny. I did not think it was gonna be as big as it is. Um, it is supposed to be the the rose from Beauty and the Beast. And how there's like a little petal. I actually even got one that glows. This is, I'm guessing, not it. Um, yeah, no, that's not it. But there's a little key, which I don't remember in the movie. Um, there being a key, or there needing to be a key. Oh, it's not a key. Wow. Boink. It's not a key. It's the mirror. It's the mirror. How adorable is that? Aw, you can't see it at all, can you? Okay, hold on. Let me put it up here. What say you folks? That's really cute. I don't know that I actually would wear this again. It's more for just fun. I have a little collection of Beauty and the Beast stuff. Um, I have, from our trip to Disney last year, we went and bought a an actual Cogsworth clock. It's an actual clock and I love everything about it. And I got the Lumiere that lights up. Lumiere. I sound so Midwestern when I say Lumiere. Um, and then I got a coffee cup that had, that's chip with a little chip in it. It's super cute. So I love those. I kind of wish that um, this was full size. I know they make one like on Etsy, but Disney, um, the Disney store only has like a toy one, which I would really like some kind of replica. They do have a crystal one, but that's not, that's not what it looks like in the movie, so. Okay, that just fell straight out because I'm dumb and I cut the original packaging and this was part of that, so. This is, I don't know, I just kind of got this on a whim because it's it was just really cute. And this, I do believe, glows in the dark. It's just got a weird plastic bead in there, that's weird. It is supposed to be Cinderella's carriage. This will definitely not fit around my neck. I can tell you guys that right now. Let's see if it, let's see if it glows. It totally does. Um, but like I said, I think it's kind of weird that it's just like a little bead. They made no bones or no, they had no trouble just sending it just like this, not even trying to pretend it to make it look like something else. This is way too tight for me. Yeah, that's not gonna work, but it is super cute. I could put it on a different chain and I would actually wear this because I heart this so much right now. Don't really care that it glows in the dark. Really wanted my little rose one because it, that one looked like it light up, lit up. And I was very much looking forward to that. I will swap this with a different chain and sport this like there's no tomorrow. Yep, I'm wearing that. But if you guys look inside, it really looks like there's just like a little bead of glue or something in there. That's funny. Yeah, I don't, I kinda don't care. Cause that's the front. Did you guys see the front last time? Sorry, I don't know if I showed you the front. That's the front. And I don't care. I'm wearing it. Yep, yep, yep. Murphy likes 10 out of 10. Would recommend that book. Oh, side note, another one. My little uh, porcupine did make it. He survived the surgery. I did reassemble him. Humpty Dumpty. Prickly Wickly. Does that work? No, maybe not. Um, two more things. Oh, this one's heavy. So let's do this one. Bum, bum, bum. From one. I can't. I can't. Okay. Wow, this has been sitting there. I didn't, I didn't even word the address on the other side. I don't know what is this? Oh. Wow. Okay. This, these are ring stands. So these are cell phone. They're not like pop sockets, but they're those ringy things. There's a little mirror. I like them because they have a little bow, very reminiscent of um, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. These look like they're very legit. Um, I thought that was supposed to be rose gold. It's a very bronzy look. It says ring stand, so it does say that. Oh, is that a, I'm ready for my close up. There's a, you see my camera? Look at that, how funny is that? So it is a picture of a picture. Inception. And then it looks like it's a legitimate box. These are quality. I literally paid 
maybe four bucks for this for each one. So and that's like wish traditionally wish cheap. I'm gonna take just this one out. It seems like they mean they meant what they're doing. So it's another 3M backing, just like the one on my phone. I love the one on my phone. I pay two dollars for it from Wish. Don't be crazy and spend ten bucks. Wait a couple weeks. Get five of them. You will not regret it. The print is not sparkly or anything. It's but it's sturdy. I use it all the time. I love that it stands up. I'm talking about something else and I shouldn't be. So I apologize. It is a 3M backing. It's said in the description of the other one, and I'm sure it'll say it on this one as well. Um, that you can wet it. Um, yeah, it says on the back. Wow, I'm all over the place. Sorry, guys. It says characteristics. Rotating ring com compatible with magnetic car mount. Ring support small and beautiful. Can't say that about Murphy, but you can say that's about this boy. No matter what, I'm never going to be small. 360 degree rotation. After the ring bracket is installed, the 360 degree rotation is convenient to adjust the comfortable handheld angle. That's interesting. I did not know that you could do that. I guess you have to wait until it's, I don't know what 360, oh, it means this way. <laughs> I thought it was like, doo, doo, doo. you could do it that way, but you can do it this way. I'm going to describe this use it in that way. Okay. Now what else does it say? 180 degree turn, metal ring 90 degrees turned into a bracket to facilitate the work and entertainment. Many more proof readers in the universe. Um, this product adopts new 3M silicone adhesive recommended to rest for 24 hours after adhesive. Adhesive effects is better. I don't know what that means. Uh, the other one that did, that I use that, that does, did not have um, as fancy a packaging made it sound like you put it on and then you can take it off, get it wet and reattach it so that the adhesive is kind of reusable. I have not had any issues with mine falling off, but I, I'm fine, you know, with just having the one. But yes, this comes in, this is supposed to be like a rose gold, which I guess it is. And then this one is silver. God, I'm talking about like for 10 minutes about the same thing. So anyway, this is what this is. <laughs> this is what this is. I'm such a monster of words, aren't I guys? This is what this is, and I'm putting this together all backwards because I have no shame and no brain. And I'll have to figure that out later. Last thing, because I know you guys are sick and tired of me making corny jokes all day, is my heavy thing. And I don't know what it is. I hope it's not another one of those sad scarves. It is, what is this? this is cute. I'm excited about these. I don't know if you guys can tell by this one, but you could probably tell by this that these are my little pony stuff. I'm so into my little pony these days. These are not for me. Alas, these are for my monsters. This is hilarious. So there's this one. I believe this is for Pinkie Pie. These came very well made. Um, this is these are super cute. I can tell already. They're just little capes for the kids to dress up in. Um, this is not Pinkie Pie. This is. I'm thinking. I don't know them all, but I think I think it's Fluttershy because there's butterflies. So I'm just gonna go with that. Okay. So this is Fluttershy because she's Fluttershy. Kind of looks shy, doesn't she? Ish. I don't know, but it's literally a cape. Dun, dun, dun. Do I look fancy? Yeah, I'm just, I was, or it could be like a really cool bib. That could also be a thing. Um, and then they have, my, yeah, my girls are gonna love this. And then the little mask. They, uh, they like playing dress up at home. Um, they wear like I got them Batgirl costumes and Spider, Super, sorry, Super. They should make a soup Spider Girl. Uh, Supergirl costume and it's all sparkly and stuff but this is fun because I can just toss it on and and just be happy so they have this I guess I'm gonna be Fluttershy not that I'm Fluttershy or Shuttershy for that matter but wow okay so it's a little close together in the in the eyeballs but it's kind of wishing my eyes where the mascara goes anyway I'm really excited about these I cannot wait to show it to them 
Let me open up this one too because I know you guys want to see them because I would want to see them. Can't wait. I'm going to go downstairs and have some tea. This is so cute. I'm glad it doesn't have like the weird hair because that would be, you know how some, like I had bought my, um, one of my girls the like, the Hello Kitty, the My Little Pony, the, the rainbow, rainbow dash. So it's this one, rainbow, rainbow dash. Um, it was like a bow uh, with a clip and like you do a tail and like a, a bow with like bangs or something and it was just the hair got all, all over the place or messy and it did, did kind of get all over the place so this is orange on the inside it's got our friend rainbow dash these are really well made it's velcro snap or velcro closure they're satin, they're seam, the seaming is sewing. Is it really even sewn? It feels like it might be glued. No, it's sewn, sewn. Uh, yeah, I mean, I will insert the price down for you, but we've had a very interesting, wow, I said a red one and fights and bulls, I guess. I don't know. Um, everything really was really kind of nice. The only things I'm not super thrilled about is this thing, which I've been waiting years to order, but I just never wanted to bite the bullet and get it. So the thought process, which is still very valid, is what am I going to do with it? Because now that I have it, because that diadem, um, I got gave that away. This it leaves more to be seen, so I'll have to like update you guys on that. But everything else, fave. My favorite things are going to have to be between the capes. And this bad boy right here, this might be the winner for me and then for others, those. We'll see how these ring stands work. They seem kind of sandy. Stand in the place where you live. Okay, that's all I've got for you guys. I uh, will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for being so patient and watching my deal <laughs> or lack of deals. Uh, until next time, Murphy out. Bye.